Despite the fact that the bodies of all escorts are galvanized, the rear fender arches are susceptible to corrosion. Therefore, when buying a used car, this part of the body must be carefully examined. On hatchbacks, due to the natural wear of the hinges, the position of the trunk lid is slightly disturbed, so it closes poorly or rattles annoyingly while driving. This trouble can be easily eliminated by adjusting the trunk lock. So long. The interior of the car is quite attractive, and inside is homely. Even tall people will comfortably sit in front, and three passengers in the back can accommodate without any problems. The only remark to the ergonomics of the second row is that the front seats are located almost on the floor of the car and you can only put your toes under the seat cushions. When buying a car, be sure to check the performance of the multifunctional steering column switches, over time they fail, which is why the turn signals, headlights or windshield wipers do not turn on. Often the plastic hood handle brakes. The drive cable wedges in the sheath over time, and at the same time the weakest part of the power circuit breaks, the plastic handle. Compared to competitors, the luggage compartment of the Escort is one of the most capacious. For example, in hatchbacks in the stowed state, its volume is 380 liters, while the VW Golf 3 and Opel Astra F have 330 and 360 liters, respectively, although with the rear seats unfolded. The Escort trunk size, 1145 liters, is somewhat inferior to rivals minus 1162 and 1200 liters, respectively. Engine. The power unit can be chosen from nine petrol ones, starting with the weakest 1.1 liter and ending with the charged 16 valve 2.0 liter engine equipped with the turbocharger, which is equipped with the sports version of Cosmo. Two diesels are also offered for the model, a 1.8 liter, 60 horsepower and a turbocharged 1.8 liter, 90 horsepower. According to the specialists of the branded service station, depending on the operating conditions and service maintenance, the resource of the units is 150 to 300,000 kilometers. Low power gasoline engines are the most fastidious and unreliable. So, if for more powerful units, the thermal clearances of the valves are automatically regulated by hydraulic compensators. Then for engines with a volume of 1.1 and 1.3 liters they should be manually adjusted every 10,000 kilometers. In addition, oil often leaks from under the valve cover gasket and the oil pressure indicator sensor. By the way, it is also necessary to adjust the valves on diesel engines, although the period between this procedure is longer, 40 to 50,000 kilometers. A 1.4 liter gasoline engine can also cause trouble due to the fragility of the idle speed controller of the monofuel injection system. This malfunction is manifested by unstable operation of the engine at idle and increased fuel consumption. Please note that different engines have different timing belt life. So, in gasoline engines with a volume of 1.4 liters and 1.6 liters, the thiamine belt changes every 60,000 kilometers, and in 1.8 liter and 2.0 liter, every 100,000 kilometers. On diesel engines, it is recommended to install a new belt every 40,000 kilometers. Low power, gasolines are less whimsical in this regard. They have a metal chain instead of a belt. Service station specialists do not advise purchasing versions with diesel engines, since their repair costs 1.5 times more than gasoline ones, so saving fuel on used cars often makes no sense. Transmission. Most of the cars were equipped with 5-speed manual gearboxes, but instances with a stepless variator are very rare. According to experts, automatic machines are not very reliable, so it's better to refuse to buy an Escort with such a transmission. A mechanical box is capable of lasting the entire life of the car without any serious troubles. However, you should pay attention to one feature, such a gearbox is characterized by increased noise in operation. Maintenance of the mechanics consists only in monitoring its tightness. The oil in it does not change, but only topped up if necessary. If the driver is excessively fond of high-speed driving, the axle shaft seals do not last long and begin to leak oil. Suspension. The running gear of the Escort is somewhat stiff, and the ground clearance is small, so the model is not quite suitable for driving on country roads. The front suspension does not last too long, for example. Silent blocks of levers are able to go out 35 to 40,000 kilometers. The ball bearings will also lead the same amount. The bushings and struts of the front stabilizer are short lived, they serve about 30 to 35,000 kilometers. The rear suspension is much more reliable, and only after 50 to 60,000 kilometers the wheel bearings may need to be replaced. Steering 
Rack and pinion steering on many versions was equipped with hydraulic booster. When buying a car, you should carefully inspect the rail, as its oil seals can pass oil. At the same time, it should be taken into account that there are two types of rails with the hydraulic booster. One is being repaired, for which a special repair kit is provided, the second is not reparable. It is difficult to visually determine the type of rail, so it is advisable to show the car to specialists. But in the steering without a hydraulic booster, there are other problems. After 150 to 200,000 kilometers, the steering rack bushing can break. Tie rod ends are able to go out 40 to 50,000 kilometers. Brake system. The Escort brake system is equipped with front disc and rear drum mechanisms. The latter need maintenance. When replacing the pads, it is necessary to clean and lubricate the self-supply mechanisms of the rear drum pads every 30,000 kilometers. If this is not done, the mechanism may jam. Ford Escort is an ordinary golf class car. Its important advantages are its low market value, accessible content and good maintainability.